everybody! Welcome to Brick Builders! A special Halloween edition. So thanks for tuning in! So today I have some special projects that have to do with the holiday. Can you see? I decorated a little bit here. We've got some great ideas. So I hope you've got your Legos ready! My Legos are ready. Up here. Yep. And we'll do some building. So before we start, I don't have my special guest here today, my special master builder, Max, but he did leave us some really great projects. So this is how we're going to do it. Oh, I hear, oh, I think I hear my Lego phone ringing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just starting Brick Builders, right? I've got all my Legos, yeah, I've got some orange ones and some black ones and some white ones. Oh, you wanted to make sure that I showed what you created for the program. Certainly will, Max, no problem. Okay, I will tell them. All right, thanks, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, that was Max calling on our Lego phone. <laughs> he just wanted everyone to know that you're all awesome. And everything is awesome, right? Ah, awesome. Okay. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's get started. I hope you have your bricks out. And here are some ideas that I've got for us today. So the first one is a little ghost. What do you think? Pretty simple. We're starting off simple. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This will tell you how many you need. You need two of those, two of the twos of black, and five of the sixes, four of the fours, and six of just the little twos that are the color white. So see if you have that. That's a good start, okay? That's one idea. And I have the finished product. Yes, the finished product here, which our Master Builder Max shared with us. Let me get it off of its stand. When you're finished, it should look like that. Boo! <laughs> Boo. <laughs> There's our first Halloween ghost. See if you can do that. And remember, if you have different colors, don't worry about it. Our ghost could be any color you want because it's your creation, right? So yeah, don't worry about the color. Don't worry about it at all. And I also want to remind you today, I've got the postcards. So when you're finished with your creation, pretend you're bringing it up to our table like you used to do, right, in the library. And we can name it, okay? So this one I'm just gonna name really simple, uh, Lego Ghost, L-E-G-O, Ghost. And then we're gonna say bye, and whoever created it, you put your name on there. I'm gonna put Max. And it's just going to look like that. Lego Ghost by Max. Pretty good? Yeah. So when you're finished with that, it can go on display. Now, friends, because of our, oops, because of our library issues, right, mm, we can't really have the Legos in the library right now. Although we're very excited that you can come back and visit us in the library and that we're open for browsing. Ooh, I lost one of my, one of my guys but you get the idea. So I'm just gonna put them over here on display like we would if we were in the library, okay? So here he is, and here's our little sign, Ghost by Max, okay? I lost his little leg, but I'll have to get that later. Okay, here's another idea. Now that you have your white Legos out, how about a skull? Ooh, what do you think of that? Maybe a yellow, um, with yellow eyes or red eyes. That's your idea, and that's the bricks that you're going to need. I'm going to keep that up there so you can see it. But again, you can make this any color you want with any kind of Legos that you have, right? Green, black, orange, pink, however you want it. You can make your skull any way you want. Now, this, compliments again of Max, is Max's skull. <laughs> see? Now he did it a little different, so you can kind of see through it. So you don't even have to put colors in the eyes if you don't want to. Yeah, it's totally up to you, because you 
are the master builder, right? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to put that over here. Can you see it? Well, I don't want to put it in front of our little guy. Why don't I see if I can do this? I'll put him on there. There. That's good. And you can see him? Okay. So those are our two. And should I make a label for that one too? Okay. Um, that one. Let's see. The skull. Oh, look at the skull. The skull. The scary skull. How's that? The scary skull. And that one is also by Max. Okay. So this kind of makes it fun. This is just a fun thing to do. And maybe you can have these on display around your house. You can show them to everyone in your family and say, you know, I built this. I built this for the Brick Builders Halloween edition. All right. All right. So let's see what else we've got here. I've got some other ideas. Don't worry. Um, oh, how about this one? How about a witch? Oh, my goodness. Now, this is a little bit more detailed, friends. Take a look there. See what you think. You're going to need a a lot of different shapes and colors for this one, but I know you can do it. I know you can. You're master builders. Now, I didn't have all these pieces. I actually tried this, friends. Yes, I tried it. So mine looks a little different. You ready? Okay, here we go. This is my witch. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. All right, so, oh, I had some... Uh, red pieces. I had a green piece for the nose. I put a little design up here on the hat. I don't know, just for fun. And then I didn't have the exact eyes that were on here, but you know, this is called making do or modifying, which is what we have to do with so many things, right? Not just when we're building, but for so many things in life, right? You got to use what you have. All right. So that's my witch. I put my witch over there. Can you see her? I think so. And I already made one of those, I think. The Crazy Lego Witch by Miss Margaret. Ah, you know, it's my attempt. All right. Yay. So I have a pretty good collection so far. What do you think? How are you doing? You doing okay with your building? Okay, this is some good ideas. All right, I've got a couple more ideas for you, friends. Now, Check these out oh, for Halloween. Okay, so we got a pumpkin. We've got, I think that looks like a bat, don't you? Yeah. Um, there's the skull. I think that's what, that's actually the skull that I think Max, the master builder, made. And then, what's this? Oh, only one of my favorite things about Halloween. Candy corn! Oh, I love candy corn. So I'm going to see if I can whip up a piece of candy corn right now. And you see if you can too. All right? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to need some blue. I need some orange. And I need some white. And I need some yellow. So, eh, it's not going to look exactly like that. But I'm going to see what I have here in my Legos. And again, it's about modifying, right? You know, so if they don't look exactly like it. And it certainly isn't going to look exactly like that. But still, it's my work, right? And I'm proud of it. Just like anything you're going to be making at home. So do your best. That's all we ask. All right. I, this is a pretty simple one. A pretty simple piece of candy corn. Not to be eaten, though. <laughs> Don't eat my Lego candy corn. All right. There we go. Let's see if this looks any good to you. I think so. It's very simple. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> There's my candy corn. I've got all the colors represented. They're just, you know, a little different shape. That's okay. All right. There's my candy corn. And I've got my label already done. Okay. Lego candy corn. Easy, right? All right, can you see that one? Oh, I think it's out of view. There's my Lego candy corn. You see it now? A little bit. Okay. All right, I'll put it over there. 
Okay, last but not least. Oh my goodness. Here's my, my other attempt. This is really simple, friends. <laughs> That's my pumpkin. This was really simple. All I did was place this little guy in here. This is kind of a Lego wheel from something. Oops, just fell off. Yeah, so this is like my, you know, my simplistic Lego pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna put that up there for everyone to see. All right, not bad, not bad. How about you? Do you have a good display up there? All right, that's great. All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, friends, one last thing. Now this is gonna close. This is, I've, I've saved the best for last. You ready? Okay, and this was, I can't take credit for it. This was again, another Max creation. So here it comes, you ready? I don't even know what to call this. Oh, what the? Now, I think, got a little like alligator head <laughs> and I believe those are bionicles so we used a little bit of bionicles but isn't that cool it looks pretty cool it looks pretty scary for Halloween doesn't it I think that's what we were going for so he's kind of a mechanical I don't know alligator dinosaur bionicle with a little bit of Lego underneath <laughs> what do you think not bad pretty scary yeah uh, I told you I saved the best for last. I think that's the best one. What do you think? He's pretty cool. Now, what do you think we should call that one? If you have any ideas, <laughs> you let me know, okay? Definitely. You can always give me a, an email with, a, um, with some ideas for what we want to name that one because I'm going to keep them around on display, okay? You just have to email it, me at childrens at lplibrary.org. And say this is what I think Max's Halloween creation should be named <laughs> right I'll write that down again so you've got it and then maybe we'll figure out a name for it so it's children's at LP library LP is LaGrange Park dot org okay there we go and there's the email I'm gonna keep it up children's at LP library.org all right. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, everybody. And I hope you keep building. I would love to see what you're building. So also, if you want to send me any pictures of your creations, we would love that. We would love to see what you're building at home. And again, our library is now open for browsing. So you can come in and browse the shelves and say hello to us. Maybe you can bring your Lego creation into the library and show it to us. Oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. So until then, um, have a great holiday. Stay safe and thanks for tuning in.